So, the first thing that I bought um, from Amazon, which I really needed, was these... Um, oh my god, it's coming out. Oh god. So, it's like an artificial um, white berry tree ornament sort of thing. And it's like a... Um, it's like... It's like a branch, like like you add in branches to the tree. So this is how it looks. I think it's quite cute. So these are the branches behind. Um, so yeah, I'm going to open one and see if I can get one out. I know this is going to be very messy. But I mean, it's my favorite, isn't it? I love Christmas. So, this is one. I'm gonna have to spread it out a bit. Oh my god, it's literally falling. But, um, like that. So, I'm gonna sit it onto the tree. So, that's what you'd be seeing on the top. And I think there's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. So, how many are there? I think there's 10. So I'm going to use these and I'm going to sit them on the branches um, wherever I feel that the, naked, the tree looks a bit naked or bare. So the second thing that I bought was um, something that I bought a long time ago, but I bought some new ones. So I bought these, the ribbons, um, and I want to only use, so I bought this one as well. But I don't want to use the gold ones. I prefer to use the silver ones for some hints of gold. Um, I bought a, got a new gold wrap, golden ribbon wrap, because I thought I might need them. But I only need the silver ones. That's okay. So, I'm literally just going to use them to wrap around the tree. Um, wherever, as I said, I feel it needs to be wrapped. I also bought... Um, oopsie. I also bought, I think those are called garlands, right? Um, well, anyways. I think these are called garlands, but I bought loads. Like, quite literally loads. Um, because I want to put them around the house. I want to put them on the door, by the tree, um, on my table. I want to put them in different places. Um, and... All of this is from Amazon. I did do some shopping around to see the best price for whatever um, whatever I wanted. So if it was Christmas garlands, I went and did a good shopping on Amazon. I always go from the lowest price to the highest price. And I check to see in each one that I click if it's worth the money or what kind of quality it is. The downfall of this one is that it's quite thin. Um, let me show you guys. So I thought it was going to be thick, but it's thin. I wanted the fluffy one. But the good thing is, you're not going to really be able to tell, right? When you, I mean, you know, scruff it up a bit. So I'll, you know, make do and see what I can do. It's just a couple garlands. I don't know how much I paid. £12 or £15. It was a lot more than this. I put some by my window. So the last few things that I bought that i'm really excited about actually i still have one more thing that's coming and i'll explain to you that about that after so the other thing that i bought were these so sorry guys so um i was talking about the baubles um when i got interrupted by phone storage so i think what i'm gonna do is either i'm gonna buy a camera or i'm gonna buy a phone i don't really know um which one i'm going to by um but yeah anyways um back to what i was saying i must probably have to delete some stuff for now on my phone so that i can make do but i just hate the fact that i'm using my phone as my business for my youtube um my business and my youtube um but yeah i'll yeah i'll figure that out um so yeah i bought these baubles and i bought some white um and some silver um the reason why is because i wanted to buy a 24 piece how much is this how many is this how many is this i don't know how many pieces this, these are but um 
oh sorry maybe this is a 24 piece or maybe this is anyways i wanted to buy the bigger piece which was like 24 or something like that or maybe 50 um and i just thought that i do have a lot of baubles on the tree i just need to just add a bit more really um to that is the pie um i think it's quite cute it has a lot of cute decorations on it um that one's got a christmas tree that one's got some snowflakes some flowers um what's this got some hearts and some flowers as well so i think it's overall quite nice some i think there's some baubles like little round baubles inside so yeah so that's something that i'm really happy about and then the last thing that i bought for now um the reason why i say for now is because i'm currently waiting for two other things um so the next thing that i bought is kind of scratched up right now but it's this flower that i want to put in in different sections of the tree and i thought it would look quite nice together um so they come in how many so that's two three four five so not six seven eight nine ten so ten um i think that's all right i mean i've got you know um and then it's got the sticks so technically you pull out one stick um and then you stick it to the back of the um of this looks like a little hole here um and then you just stick it in and then you will get a beautiful stand-in flower i want to try and bend these to make it look cuter there you go so hey guys i'm back my storage is doing my heading right now so as i was saying i'm going to speed through this quickly i've got these flowers and the sticks comes with it 10 sticks 10 10 flowers i think i got this for 12 pounds and a stick goes in the back it's a tiny hole so that's another thing that i bought so the last two things that i'm waiting for is the fence to go around the christmas tree because i'm really annoyed for the fact that my children keep pulling or my child my son he's only one he keeps pulling on the um the ornaments and everything else on it so um i'm gonna start uh, the christmas tree um, and hopefully you guys um hopefully you guys love it um yeah in the best way possible and i'm gonna start so i'm gonna start off by explaining what i'm gonna do with these um i'm gonna use the garlands i'm gonna go around and i'm gonna put these down wherever i can so let's give this a go um i'm gonna use this try and get them so just so you guys know it's going to be a messy 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 process but you know what it's it's okay so um so what i like to do with my garlands and is i like to wrap them around the branch like this um and then it kind of just sits there it just sits there on its own and then wrap them like i weave them in and out of the tree i'm gonna remove this one quickly um so remove that one so right now what i'm doing is i'm removing any baubles that i feel that are kind of irrelevant right now um because right now what i'm trying to do is just add in the um oh god the uh ribbons okay so that's nice then cute so that's in there I think that's too close to each other, but it's all right. Maybe. Just 
just try and settle it into my own cure. So um, I'm going to take off this gold one. I really don't want it. Don't want the gold. I want the silver with a hint of gold. So let's get the silvers. Um, and let's go down here. I think there's loads up there. Yeah. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to put this down here. Let's remove my Christmas tree. Um, yeah. I'm going to put these down. Let's see if I can try and put you guys facing the bottom of the tree. Yes, that's better. So, it's gonna sit down properly. Oh, I've got some more behind. That's good. So. What I like to do is I'll show you guys here. I'll get it, a flat, flat side, get a branch, bend the branch up a little bit so it's facing like that. Instead of straight, it's facing like that. And then I wrap it around the branch and then bend the branch down so it kind of just sticks to it. And then I lift it up. There you go. Perfect. So I'm gonna do that with the ones down here so let's bend it here plug it in bend and then do another beautiful bend and then go around see how it's there <sighs> let's go around so i'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and get it in here. Like that. And then I'm gonna go around to the other side and add that in on this side. Like so. So Cute. So the bottom garland is on. I'm trying to get to the other one. I've got one more, but I don't really know where to put it. Should I put it here? It's gonna be a bit weird, isn't it? We can try. We can try. We can try, can't we? Oh, my back. Okay. So let's remove this bubble. And let's get it here. So, my um, mother in law called me, so I got cut off. That's okay. So, I'm gonna have to do a quick video because my mother in law's on her way um, to see us. So, um, if it is that I don't finish the tree um, on time, um i'll just end the video here i won't finish it until i get back to you guys because i don't i don't want to ruin the the fact that i'm doing this for youtube so now i'm gonna try and show you guys a quick brief of the tree for now um here so now i want to start putting on the branches i'm going to stand up and quickly put on the branches here. so this is the thing this now looks naked so we need to add something there but um i've got some more stuff coming so it's okay 
So now I'm gonna pull it apart a bit. I'm gonna add it to the branches. Oh, it's so pretty. I should have bought more. I'm gonna buy more just to make some like a cute essence in the tree. That's very cute. I'm gonna buy more. So literally all I'm doing is I've got it here and I'm pulling out the branches so that it, you know, it looks more open like it would be as an actual branch. And then I'm just sticking it in any place that I feel needs a bit of an oomph. And I'm going to do it like more middle and bottom. I'm not going to do the top. I might do just do two at the top. Um, the reason why is because... Um, let me try and put it in places that I feel look a bit naked. It doesn't go there. So, that's nice. This is very pretty. So, I'm going to show you guys a quick... A quick um, up close view of the tree so you guys can see exactly what i'm putting in so you see like this it needs to blend in with the branch so i'm gonna have to more like put it in like this so but just so you guys can have a quick overview of what i'm doing um then yeah i'm just gonna keep adding until i feel that the tree looks good I'm going to add some around the bottom, but more this side. And some down here. Oopsie. And I'm going to buy more. I'm definitely going to buy more. It's beautiful. And... One here, and one here. Cool. So now that's added in, I'm going to quickly add in my flowers. Mom, can you can come inside. Your grandma's actually coming. So can you put on some clothes? I do. Oh, you do have clothes on. Okay. Um, can you get the um, get your brother and um, see, put some clothes on him. So can you have clothes on. Okay, that's good. Oh, no, showered. Yeah, that's fine. We'll have a quick shower very, very soon. Okay, I'll put some toys inside the. If it's being mean inside the shower, I'll not give her any toys. If it's nice inside the shower, I'll just Alex, baby, toys. I've got the camera on, so you need to stop talking. Okay, I'm just talking about Ezra being mean inside the shower. If you're not yeah, doing that, not mean, he's just very small. You're going to drop my camera. What's that for? It was for this. Your grandma's coming because she wants to do some videos. Okay, so... And if I want that to play me also. Your grandma needs to do some videos, I just said that. No, but I have time to do it. I saw you guys playing it. You can cut, he cut. Can I help you with that? Um, I'm okay. Can you pass me the flowers, quick? One by one. So, I'm just literally going to plunge them in, guys. And then I'm going to show you guys a picture of... A close-up, sorry, of how it looks. Um, okay, bye. Thank you. So you see the sides where it looks really um, boring. I'm going to plunge flowers into it so that it doesn't look boring. Um, Baba, did you pass me the rest of the flowers? Like so. And I'm going to plunge one here. Where's the phone? The phone is there. My flowers are here. Can you pass me them, please? Okay, I just use. Is that one or two? That's one flower. 
This is the two. It's one. This is two. It's one. It's two. Okay, it's two. <laughs> and then. Mm -hmm. Plunge one. Can down. I do it? Pass them to me quickly because I need to add the baubles as well. Quickly, Alex. There's only two left. Like, pass me. No. I want to do this one. Okay, well, I'll tell you where to put it because Grandma's nearly here. Put one down I just there. clean it. Are you, Mommy? Oh, you like cleaning with me? Yeah. That's good. Because you help me a lot. Can I do that one? Yeah, but you need to put it up here. Here, like that. Can I do it? So, guys. Can you see that my tree looks more fuller? Show me how I'm doing it. So, you're going to plunge it into the back here. There you go. Done. Beautiful. Now we're going to add these balls really quickly. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Hold on, can I open it? I have to open that when I be dad you. Yeah. Mom, Don't put them so close. Mom, yours are too close to mine. Sorry. Don't worry, I'll put it. No. I'll put it just right here because no balls are there. Mm hmm. You can if you want. Okay. Ezra, no. We're not here to pull them out. We've been doing a lot of work. I said, trying to do everything because don't. Stop, stop pushing. Ezra! God, you're probably not. Video. You sit down. No, I'm doing video as well. Oh, really? Yeah, for YouTube. I've been doing video as well. Everyone, so I do apologize for yesterday. 
I was actually supposed to show you guys how I finished off the tree and what was the outcome of it. I actually did not get to that part and I'm definitely going to today. So basically this video is going to be a yesterday half half like two day video um and i'm also going to show you guys what i cooked and my daily chores and then i'm going to go straight into showing you guys the christmas tree in the living room that has been finalized and done so i cannot wait to show you guys that and just stay tuned i'm going to pop you guys here and i am going to carry on with my dishes so right now currently doing my dishes i'm gonna put you guys here that it doesn't look so messy um and i'm just gonna keep going so my son is actually sitting on my far left so i'm gonna be as quick as possible so that i don't end up leaving him just trying to wash my sink it's okay I'm going to do a quick dishes so I'm not going to lie guys in regards to the um, Christmas tree yesterday the video cut off because my mother-in-law came in um and i would have carried on the video but she also has her own business and she wanted to come over and use a christmas tree as a background so i had to cut off the video as you know the video was mainly about the christmas tree So hey guys, so I'm gonna get the um chicken. I'm gonna put it in. Okay, give me a second, hold on. Yep, okay, the chicken and put it in the oven. Just like so. Gonna use the rest of the the sauce. chicken
right now is bath time for my tiny boy. So I normally just get him to stand a bit. I'm gonna take off his Christmas nappy and I'm gonna shower him. So let me try and keep you guys in a way that you see him. Undo the shirt. Now, Put it on, put it on, put it on. There you go. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, put the trousers on. And then we will go to the bedroom. Guys. I think there's something wrong with me. But anyways, I've got Starbucks. <laughs> I've got Starbucks. I couldn't do it. So what I got was 
the iced caramel macchiato and i got three signature espressos one whole milk one mocha sauce and one whipped cream it's doing justice oh god it's doing justice just feeding my boy some yogurt So cute. He's like, what? Oh god. Okay. Back to the video. I'm not gonna lie, the difference between me getting this caramel, iced caramel macchiato between me getting like a whole McDonald's I don't know if it's a difference or not because there's still a lot of calories, a lot of things that I'm adding on even if it's a whole meal and then just a drink, it's still a lot but um, I'm trying to reduce even buying just from Justy or Uber Eats in general because I feel quite heavy um, and obviously that's something that a lot of women do struggle with especially after having kids I get it that a lot of people are going to say it's normal you've had two kids um, yeah it is it is normal but I want to reduce it um, and I want to reduce I want to do really want to reduce the amount of intake um, of the sh uh, sugar intake that I the amount of sugar that I take in um, I don't want to have too much carbohydrates I need more protein in my body um, I think I'm starting to understand my body a bit better because before this was during my pregnancy and after my pregnancy I would eat literally anything I could possibly eat um, as long as it tastes good um, and also the area we were staying in before we moved into this place the only thing that it had around was Pizza Hut Chinese and McDonald's literally so um it was kind of like a deserted area there wasn't really a lot um there was like Lidl there was Tesco further along um but that was literally it and then the rest would have been McDonald's um and Chinese and then it would have been the Pizza Hut and literally we got tired of Pizza Hut to the extent where even when we moved here we did not want to eat Pizza Hut at all we did not want to eat any pizzas so I think that in general it's not good for my body to be intaking these things and the more I intake these things the more it's going to be difficult on um, my kids as well and my, myself in the future but also my kids because I feel that they're going to eat whatever mummy eats and if I'm eating rubbish they're going to eat the rubbish and quite frankly I don't want them to do that um, it's not a way to go about things um, I'm not saying that you shouldn't um, eat certain things you can eat whatever you please but um, for me I believe that I haven't really eaten anything rubbish so for example for the past three days so for the past five days so let's say five days yeah so within those five days 
for three days I had salad in the morning whenever I was starving between my meals I would have some yogurt or I have an Activia the smart Activia bottle um, or I would have a cereal bar or a protein bar then for dinner I would have rice but have a small portion of rice sorry let me I skip lunch completely so lunch I would have a sandwich ham some cheese and some salad you want to come out already and then <coughs> And then for um, dinner, I would then have um, my, as I said, my rice. But my rice would be a smaller portion, be like a smaller portion in my plate. And then my meat would be a bigger portion. So if I was to have, um, if I was to have rice, I would have like less than a bowl of rice um, as in quantity. And then I would have like a whole half a plate of meat um and i mean i would basically have like maybe two um chicken thighs what do you want what do you want so i would have maybe like a chicken two chicken thighs or maybe i would have um like i don't know you know what i mean like i would have like just a bigger quantity of meat and then a smaller quantity of my carbohydrates, which could be, which could be a pasta that night, or even a, a rice or fried rice, joy fries, whatever it might be. I have a really, really small portion of that. And then if I'm hungry after that, I would maybe have some yogurt. So I have added on a lot of weight, and I think that that's something that I need to reduce. Um, but within time, I will reduce it properly. I have started but i need to actually get into the mode of doing it every single day so as i said five days and three days i ate very well like that and then for two the rest of the two days there was a birthday party that went on because of my friends uh, my partner's friend um and uh, it was his birthday and obviously there was cake and everything so that day that those two days i would say was a cheat for me and obviously i don't think two days is a good idea to do a cheat where you eat rubbish two days is a lot you basically vanish those three days of eating very healthy but um but then you have to regain yourself the following you have to regain yourself so for the past two days i've literally been eating one meal with some top up of like a glass of milk or a glass of water or um a glass of maybe some water with some mix of juice in it then i'll have some yogurt then I would have some, um, my one meal would be like some rice, some salad, some coleslaw, and then some good amount of meat. And that would be it for me. Throughout the day, I would sustain myself with maybe like some milk, as I said, or some water or some a little amount of juice. Um, whenever my partner would want to maybe eat something that, you know, is not as healthy, maybe some Chinese or whatever. If it is that he was to order Chinese, I would have rice with egg. So egg fried rice. With chicken balls so as i said less rice more chicken more protein so i will kind of just have one meal per day that's what's been happening for the past two days and if i'm starving in the middle of the night which is actually the majority of the time what happens i go and eat a lot of things at night i would end up then having maybe some noodles but i would portion it to like one noodle i normally have two or like two and a half so i would portion it but the bad thing is, and I'm not going to deny it, don't eat after six. I, it's not good. No. It's not good. No. Or maybe after eight, but just don't do no. it in general. It's not good. Like this drink here right now, the amount of calories in there, I cannot even begin to describe the amount of calories that's in this drink. It's mental. But after this, I'm having nothing to eat. I had this morning, I had a croissant with three um, spoons of Jollof Spag. This is the drink I'm having throughout the whole morning. That's nothing else I've had. Um, and then for today, I'm having nothing until dinner time. And dinner time, most probably, I'm going to end up having some chicken and some jollof bag. So that jollof bag is going to be very minimal because I've had a lot to eat in the morning. This is a lot of calories already. This is basically like my dinner and my lunch. <laughs> so, yeah. It's just about keeping up with the with the calories. Uh, let me check my meat. I'll be back.
Okay. <clears throat> so, I basically just got this drink and I'm enjoying it so badly that I'm basically nearly halfway. But, um, you can't blame me. Okay. I'm going to be cleaning my daughter's room. I want to get a quick move into this room. That's mine. Yes. Let's get you in. I'm not going to lie, the difference between me getting this caramel ice caramel macchiato between me getting like a whole McDonald's I don't know if it's a difference or not because there's still a lot of calories, a lot of things that I'm adding on even if it's a whole meal and then just a drink, it's still a lot. But um, I'm trying to reduce even buying just from Justy or Uber Eats in general because I feel quite heavy. Um, and obviously that's something that a lot of women do struggle with, especially after having kids. I get it that a lot of people are going to say it's normal, you've had two kids. Um, yeah, it is. It is normal, but I want to reduce it. Um, and I want to reduce, I want to, I do really want to reduce the amount of intake um, of sh the sugar intake that I the amount of sugar that I take in. Um, I don't want to have too much carbohydrates. I need more protein in my body. Um, I think I'm starting to understand my body a bit better because before, this was during my pregnancy and after my pregnancy, I would eat literally anything I could possibly eat um, as long as it tastes good. Um, and also the area we were staying in before we moved into this place, the only thing that you had around was Pizza Hut, Chinese and McDonald's, literally. So, um it was kind of like a deserted area there wasn't really a lot um there was like middle there was tesco further along um but that was literally it and then the rest would have been mcdonald's um and chinese and then it would have been the pizza hut and literally we got tired of pizza hut to the extent where even when we moved here we did not want any pizza hut at all we did not want any pizzas so I think that in general it's not good for my body to be intaking these things and the more I intake these things the more it's going to be difficult on um, my kids as well and my, myself in the future but also my kids because I feel that they're going to eat whatever mommy eats and if I'm eating rubbish they're going to eat the rubbish and quite frankly I don't want them to do that um, it's not a way to go about things um, I'm not saying that you shouldn't um, eat certain things. You can eat whatever you please. But um, for me, I believe that I haven't really eaten anything rubbish. So, for example, for the past three days, so for the past five days, so let's say five days, yeah. So within those five days, the three days I had salad in the morning whenever i was starving between my meals i would have some yogurt or i have an activia the like, smart activia bottle um or i would have a cereal bar or a protein bar <laughs> then for dinner i would have rice but have a small portion of rice sorry let me i skipped lunch completely so lunch i would have a sandwich ham some cheese and some salad you want to come out already and then <clears throat> 
and then for um dinner i would then have um my as i said my rice but my rice would be a smaller portion be like a smaller portion in my plate and then my meat would be a bigger portion so if i was to have um if i was to have rice i would have like less than a bowl of rice um as in quantity and then i would have like a whole half a plate of meat um and i mean i would basically have like maybe two um chicken thighs what do you want what do you want so i would have maybe like a chicken two chicken thighs or maybe i would have um like i don't know you know what i mean like i would have like just a bigger quantity of meat and then a smaller quantity of my carbohydrates which could be which could be a pasta that night or even a, a rice or fried rice joy fries whatever it might be i have a really really small portion of that and then if i'm hungry after that i would maybe have some yogurt so i have added on a lot of weight and i think that that's something that i need to reduce um but within time i will reduce it properly i have started but i need to actually get into the mode of doing it every single day so as i said five days and three days i ate very well like that and then for two the rest of the two days there was a birthday party that went on because of my friends uh, my partner's friend um and uh, it was his birthday and obviously there was cake and everything so that day that those two days i would say was a cheat for me and obviously i don't think two days is a good idea to do a cheat where you eat rubbish two days is a lot you basically vanish those three days of eating very healthy but um but then you have to regain yourself the following you have to regain yourself so for the past two days i've literally been eating one meal with some top up of like a glass of milk or a glass of water or um a glass of maybe some water with some mix of juice in it then i'll have some yogurt then i would have some um my one meal would be like some rice some salad some coleslaw and then some good amount of meat and that would be it for me throughout the day i will sustain myself with maybe like some milk as i said or some water or some a little amount of juice um whenever my partner would want to maybe eat something that you know is not as healthy maybe some chinese or whatever if it is that he was to order chinese i would have rice with egg so egg fried rice with chicken balls so as i said less rice more chicken more protein so i will kind of just have one meal per day that's what's been happening for the past two days and if i'm starving in the middle of the night which is actually the majority of the time what happens i go and eat a lot of things at night i would end up then having maybe some noodles but i would portion it to like one noodle i normally have two or like two and a half so i would portion it but the bad thing is and i'm not going to deny it don't eat after six i it's not good no. it's not good no. or maybe after eight but just don't do no. it in general it's not good like this drink here right now the amount of calories in there i cannot even begin to describe the amount of calories that's in this drink it's mental but after this i'm having nothing to eat i had this morning i had a croissant with three um spoons of jollof spag this is the drink i'm having throughout the whole morning that's nothing else i've had um and then for today i'm having nothing until dinner time and dinner time most probably i'm gonna end up having some chicken with some jollof spag so that jollof spag is gonna be very minimal because i've had a lot to eat in the morning this is a lot of calories already this is basically like my dinner and my lunch <laughs> so yeah it's just about keeping up with the with the calories um let me check my meat i'll be back Okay, so my camera keeps turning off because of storage i'm really close to buying a camera <laughs> but um i think i am i'll go through some cameras with you guys very very soon and most probably some phones as well to see what i can do i don't think the phone's worth it i think cameras have more storage but it's my first time buying one of those things so 
we can do it together. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly clean up my daughter's room. It's looking a bit of a madness and it's really annoying. Um, that cot it needs to come out of this room. I'm gonna take it out today. I'm gonna demolish it. You guys are gonna demolish it with me. So let me just clean up this bit and the bed and then I will do the demolishing with this um, cot with you guys. So I'll get back to you guys very, very, very soon and I'll be sure, I'll be very, very sure to show you how the room looks after you guys you guys have seen the before i'll show you guys the after so stay tuned <laughs> 